Here you can see a body that was stepped in, meaning it has no history. Now, I want to make some modifications to this body. And there are tools that NX offers that are exceptionally powerful. They are the synchronous modeling. As for an example, if I go into move face, you'll notice under move face, I have a face selection and I have a transform option. Under the transform option, you'll see all these options to move a face. The default is distance and angle. Here I'm just going to leave it at angle because that's what I want to do is I want to rotate these around an axis. So for some reason I needed to move these faces. I select my faces. I specify my vector. What is my rotation vector? Say that face. And now all I need to do is grab this and rotate go as far as I need to go and select OK. Now you'll notice I have an actual parameter set in for the value of rotation. I can now come in and modify this Another option that I have with move face is I can come in and maybe I needed to move this groove I can select my move face icon. I'm going to select the faces that I want to move. And this is no longer an angle, this is going to be distance. What's my vector? I can specify any vector that I want to. You'll see my um, temporary vector creation has popped up. So in this case, I can just specify the x axis and then I can drag this face anywhere I want to. And you'll also notice that there are uh, incredibly capable tools here that allow me to even drag it on to the point of where these faces will get chopped off. So if that's where I need to drop my face at, I can say OK, and there goes my face. And it'll automatically trim as it sees fit. Again, there's my distance, and I can modify this. Other options with move face, you can see distance between points. I have radial distance, point to point, and so on. I'm not going to cover all of these, I just want to cover some of the basics. You also have options here for a move behavior, move and adapt, cut and paste. So if you're going over something that has shape, uh, maybe it's a body panel or something along those lines you want to move and adapt. So basically you want the shape to adapt to maybe a B surface. Uh, cut and paste is actually just that. It's going to cut, it's going to remove it, and it's going to paste it in the new position. It may not adapt to a new position. So if you're dealing with non-planar faces, that could potentially be an issue. Um, other things that you have, overflow behavior. This is automatic, set to. That overflow was, you'll notice earlier when I, when I was talking about the trimming. So you can determine how you want things to trim. Chain face, incident faces, various different methods of trimming options. And step face, extend neighbors at smooth edge. So if you find a smooth edge, it'll extend those faces. So once again, synchronous modeling, move face, very powerful tool. It allows you to do uh, basically anything with the shape. It can be also a parameterized model. So sometimes you may have some ribs on a model and making the modification may take a really long time for an update to occur. What I've seen in the past is I just need to move something just a minimal amount. I can now use my synchronous modeling to move those faces, whatever amount is need to be moved, even with history. That way you may not want to try to modify something uh, very, very deep in the history of a part now, that can build in a compounding issue if you're not careful, but uh, for short shortcuts or the ease of modification, those options are there.